Hey friends, welcome back to the channel, Creatively Sandra. If you are new here, welcome. On this channel, we do all things Disney, and today is a pin swap. So it is also Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's. I actually have two videos coming out today because I'm in two Valentine's swaps. So this one is called For the Love of Pins 2024, and it is hosted by the Disney Pinsomniacs. That is Hannah and Trevor. You definitely want to go over and check out their channel. They are a fun couple duo doing Disney together and um, share their love of pins. So check them out, but then check out all the channels listed down below because there's some great participants in this swap. So it was a pin swap. This may be the first time I've been in a pin specific swap. And the requirements were just to send one LE pin and one open edition. LE, if you do not know, is a limited edition pin. They did not specify the edition size, so you could go anywhere, but they did have kind of a limit, you know, keep the two pins to no more than about $60. And um, you could include extras, but they also wanted you to limit the extras. So it was a little bit refreshing to have a kind of high, a top limit and a low limit so you, you didn't go cuckoo and overboard with this swap um but we've had some fun with it so people provided a preference sheet with their likes what collections they were trying to grow uh things like that they also could provide a wish list um an elfster list i think or you could just check out their elfster and see if there were pins on it so um I don't think there was an Elfster in this case for the person I bought for. So I had fun just getting to choose myself based on the preferences they provided. So thank you, Hannah and Trevor, for allowing me to participate in this. Thanks to all the participants that are making this a blast. I had a lot of fun shopping. At the end, I'll tell you who I sent my pins to and you can be sure to check them out. But let's dive into my box. So I know it came from, um, but let's see what's in here. Ooh, so we've got some little hearts all over the place, silver and red, so that is very festive and fun. I am filming at the last minute um, to beat a dead horse. I've been moving and don't have everything set up yet, but we've got a little bit of a background. And actually, I think this one comes before, so my next video, like, it'll be all blank again. <laughs> and then we'll be getting better towards as time goes on. So I've got this adorable Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse postcard that is super cute. Is it all Minnie? Oh, it's all Minnie Mouse. Very nice. I love the um, black and white or the black and gray there with the red trim. And this says, Sandra, it was so much fun finding pins for your amazing collections. We hope you enjoy these lovely new additions. And may I just say, this handwriting is beautiful. Uh, one will bring honor to its new home, while the other might make you curiouser and curiouser. Honor sounds like Milan, curiouser and curiouser sounds like Alice, so those are both very exciting. Happy Valentine's, Marie and Duchess from Disney Crazy Family. So I have a lot of fun with Disney Crazy Family. They are great. You need to check out their channel. They are like pin experts. They um, do all kinds of pins openings and have a wide variety of preferences. So they show lots of different stuff. But they're also the ones who taught me how to participate in the Pin and Pop event that I do, the monthly Tr online trading event. Um, they've helped me know about pin events um, in Disney, etc. They're just a wealth of information and a lot of fun, so check them out. Okay, so I see I've got some Valentine's goodies. We've got some sweet tart lollipops in here, so that's fun. So you could include a treat, but yeah, just don't go overboard. And then there are two pin packages in here. Oops, let me see, more lollipops. How fun. Okay, and so we've got two packages here. I'm gonna set the box down. Let's go with this one first. This feels familiar, um, just the shape, can you tell? And oh, <laughs> I was gonna say pretty wrapping paper. She decorated that, one of them decorated it. I suspect it is Marie and colored all the little red and white hearts on there. That is very cute. Thank you for going the extra decorating mile. Let's see, I'm gonna cut this because she's taped it very well. She being one of them. Oh, I can't even get in here. 
Okay, there we go. I, it feels like a fig pin, which is exciting. I love fig pins, but let's just see. It does look like that, but we're not all the way in yet. Ooh. This is very nice and one I have been wanting. And it is the Milan fig pin. How pretty. These are gorgeous. Okay, we're gonna open it. I wanna show you a little bit about these. If you don't know about fig pins, they are pins that can stand on their own. So they can go on a board or stand and they come in a um, clear crystal, not crystal, but you know, clear <laughs> packaging, plastic. It's plastic, not crystal. Wouldn't it be funny if it was crystal and it'd be worth so much more. But these are open edition pins, I believe. There are some fig pins that I think are limited edition, but I believe the princess set. I've been slowly collecting these. Um, so I have probably four or five princesses only, but this is how they open. And you can register them on their sites. There's something about points for them as well. So this is the top that comes off. You can display it just like this. You can take the card off and display it like that. But it also does have, if I take it off of this, it also has um, pin backs as well. So you could display it on a pin board like other pins. And then this is the piece where it displays. But let's take an up close look at this. This is so pretty. I love the, um, the sparkles on her, on her dress. She is gorgeous. So very pretty. I'm so glad to add this to my collection of princesses. Very nice. So that is the first pin. And then we have a little package here. And we've got lots of fun confetti and stuff in here. It looks like a sticker. This is cute. Curiouser and curiouser. This is a little Alice in Wonderland sticker. I love that design. The artwork on there, so pretty. And then let's dive into here. I'm gonna try to pull it out without pulling out all the confetti. Ooh, there's some more little stickers in there and they're tiny. Let's see. This is fun presentation, Marie and Duchess. There's a bunch of tiny stickers in here. Oh, these are so cute. Little, little ones. I can use some of those in my planner. There's a bunch of little ones in here. I'm not gonna pull them all out because I've got to sort through what's a confetti versus a sticker. But here's an, oh, it's a teeny tiny Cinderella. Look at, she's like the size of my nail. Very cute. There's some fun ones in there. Oh, that's the one I was trying to pull out. It looks like little hamburgers, but not, it's a dog or the back of a, oh, it's rubber ducks, I think. <laughs> How cute is that? Okay, let's get to the pin, the good part. It's all good. And this is wrapped in bubble wrap. Okay, I do have confetti going everywhere now because it's wrapped up, it's in the um, bubble wrap. So as I open this, more is coming out. Let's see what we got. I'm opening it over the box. Okay, there's a little note on here. It says pin and pop number. <gasps> it's a Tokyo stained glass pin. This is a limited release. Now we did say it could be limited edition was the first um, requirement, but then we agreed as a group limited release was equal to limited edition for this swap. So it is a Alice in Wonderland Tokyo stained glass princess series. <gasps> She put the pin and pop number on there so that it can be um, looked up. So if I had uh, questions about it or wanted to, um, you know, look at origin, things like that on the pin. So that is very helpful to include that information. <gasps> this is pretty. Oh, I've seen some of these of the other princesses, but I had not seen this one that's Alice. <gasps> look at that. This is gorgeous. And I love the pins from the Asian park. So just on the back of it, it just says Tokyo Disney Resort and Disney. And then there's a little like 
pin trading symbol on there. Let's put it on this board and actually we'll put the Mulan on there as well. <gasps> These are so pretty. Duchess and Marie, thank you so much. This is very fun. Oh, those are both great to add to my collections. I actually like this one like it is off of the, um, the fig pin stand. And I have, <laughs> it's not so small anymore, but I have a small Mulan collection going, which is quickly growing and she will be added to that. And then of course my Alice board, I'm going to be making some changes soon and putting more special Alice pins and taking some of the, um, the hidden Mickeys and the um, mystery pins and putting those in another location. So I'm very excited to add that to my board. Thank you both so much, um, Duchess and Marie from Disney Crazy Family. I really appreciate it, that and my little goodies as well. And um, thank you again to Hannah and Trevor for hosting this swap and including me. Make sure you go down below, check out everybody. Subscribe to the channel. You don't wanna miss the rest. There's another video coming out today that is a Valentine's swap. And I will see you guys on, oh, let me know what pin you like the best. And what are you doing for Valentine's Day? <laughs> so thanks for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.